Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. Can you believe that we're like halfway through 2023? Like I personally just... Where's the time going? Seriously, it's going a little too fast here. But we are midway through the year, which means all of my mid-year videos are going to be slowly rolling out. And the first one is going to be my mid-year empties. These are all the products that I finished up completely from January to June. My empties basket is completely full, like always. This always makes me so happy because you guys know I have a really big collection. And it just feels good to like know that I'm going through a lot of products while I'm receiving more products you know what I mean so it's just like a good balance between everything we got a lot in here so with that being said let's go ahead and hop right into the video so I just went off camera to sort out all the products into its own categories. We have makeup, skincare, and extras, which is like contacts, shower, body care, all that kind of stuff is going to be at the end. And I always like to start off with makeup because I always say like makeup is the hardest to get through and I usually have the least of. But surprisingly, I actually have quite a lot of like makeup products that I did finish up. And actually this time around, skincare is the smallest category. So... With that being said, let's just start off with makeup anyway since this is a makeup channel and I'll just pull out whatever I see. So the first one is the Good Molecules Silicone Free Priming Moisturizer. I absolutely loved this product. It's pretty much like skincare and makeup together. It literally felt like a moisturizer and Good Molecules is very affordable. So I definitely would repurchase this one again. So, oh yeah, also, if you guys are not familiar with my empties, it's sort of like a mini review since I have finished up the entire product would I repurchase it again that's like the question that I'm asking and this is a product I definitely would repurchase it's affordable it does the job it hydrates the skin and I think even if you have oily skin dry skin you always want to make sure your skin is hydrated and that's how your foundation is going to go on really smoothly so this is something I definitely would repurchase another product that I finished up through my project pan is the bite beauty change maker press powder this one took me a while and it's actually no longer available because by beauty is now gone but this was a powder that i really did enjoy however now looking back even if I could repurchase this, I probably wouldn't repurchase. It's a bit expensive and I do want something a little bit more like pore filling. Um, let's just go into mascaras because I have quite a few here. So I have three mini sample mascaras. The first one is the Hourglass Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. This one I do enjoy. However, I don't think it's really worth the price point because Hourglass is really expensive. And if I was going to buy something from Hourglass, I wouldn't buy a mascara. You know what I mean? I feel like I have my tried and true mascara and that is the Hamish mascara which I did finish up the waterproof. I have already repurchased the original. I do like the waterproof formula but I prefer the original better and I have already repurchased that. That is just going to be my go-to mascara. I feel like I don't really want to try more mascaras now. I have so many that I need to get through and I have one that I really like. Why do I need to keep exploring? Like let's not be so greedy you know. Um, so yeah those two mascaras I finished up and the other two mini ones. This one is the Bare Minerals Strength and Lengthen. I remember this one being like really bad. The It Cosmetics Superhero. I don't really remember how I liked it. Honestly, it dried out. Um, so I wouldn't repurchase that. Oh, another favorite mascara of mine. My dear subscriber Jean, she was so kind to send me a bunch of Japanese makeup because she currently lives in Japan and she sent me the Oprah My Lash Mascara. I fell in love with this mascara. This is the black. Like the Hamish and this mascara, those are the only two mascaras I need in my life and I will be happy. Definitely would repurchase this one. I really, you know, am trying my best to save because I really want to go Korean Japan. If I'm going to Japan, there is just so much products I'm going to be restocking myself on, this being one of them. Okay, now we have some brow pencils. Let's talk about that. I have one from Unleashia. This is their Shape of Defining Eyebrow Pencil. I finished up number one Oatmeal Brown. They essentially have three shades, um, but because I use my brow pencil so sparingly, I mostly go in with brow powder. I can honestly use any of the three shades, but I did finish up 
up this one. I think this is my second Unleash Your Brow Pencil I finished up. It's one of my favorites. Absolutely love it. Another favorite of mine, another repeat in the Empties series is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I don't know how many of these I have finished at this point. Maybe like, honestly, I'm going to say like 10 or more because I've been using this for years. I keep going through them. These two brow pencils honestly really are like my favorites. Um, so you'll definitely keep seeing them again and again and again. Then I have a concealer, my tried and true concealer, the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I think this is my third bottle and I have already repurchased another one. It's a concealer I can't go without so I always have one in my collection. I think next time though I will get a different shade. I've been using Almond but I think Almond's a little bit too dark so I think I might go like one or two shades lighter. Then we come on to some eyeliners. These are also my favorite. Jean, she also sent me these and got me hooked on these eyeliners from Can Make. It's their Creamy Touch Eyeliner. I finished up number one black and number three which is like a dark brown. I have already repurchased these two like done like there's no question asked these are the best pencil eyeliners they are super creamy pigmented they do not transfer the only eyeliner i need in my life these are the best again if i'm going to japan these are another products that i'm going to be stocking myself up on sometimes on your style they are always sold out so if you see it on your style grab it while you can because these literally are the absolute best and because they're so creamy they tend to run out quicker so i have like two backups of the black one and I do need to get more of the brown because I can't live without these eyeliners and I'm not even trying to be dramatic it's like I can't do my makeup without these. Next we have another primer. This one was like the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Primer I believe. I did cut it up to get all of the product out. That's what I like to do. I don't like to waste product. I mean obviously in my collection there's a lot of product wasted because my collection is so big. I'm only one person but where I can I always like to scoop out as much as I can and if you watch my project pan if you keep up that you probably saw me scooping this out. So that is gone. I just have the remainder just to show you in my empties. And then we move along into a powder. This one is from Ilia. It's the Fade Into You Soft Focus Finishing Powder. This powder was okay. It felt a little drying. You know like when something is really drying, your skin kind of like tightens. This powder kind of gave me that. It reminded me a lot of the NYX HD powder if you guys are familiar. The would not repurchase honestly. The only powder I need in my life is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Powder in Lavender and I need that to restock because it's been sold out here in New Zealand for like months and I've been trying not to use it because if I don't have that, again, can't do my makeup. Like there are just certain products. Should I do a video on that? Like certain products I legit cannot do my makeup without. Editing Judy write that down. Essentially the last makeup item I finished up is the Colourpop Just the Tint Lip Crown. I almost forgot the name of it guys. This used to be legit my favorite lip product. This is from the Animal Crossing collection in Peach Surprise. I finished that through my project pan. This did take me a while to go through but I mean I finished it. It's my second Just the Tint Lip Crown that I finished. It's a great tinted sort of lip balm. Honestly I'm not even into peaches anymore. I'm into pinks now so I can't imagine me like loving peaches again. But I guess to wrap up on the makeup category, I do have two sponges that I guess it's not like emptied, but like I'm gonna be throwing them away. So the first one is the Coco Cosmetics Marshmallow Sponge. I really did enjoy this. You can see how bit up this is. Like my nail has dug into this. I think the original color is definitely a little bit lighter. I definitely would repurchase, but these days actually guys, I have not been using the beauty sponges to blend in my makeup. I've been using the cushion puff for my foundation, for my concealer, and then to sit in my face I use a powder puff. So really in my makeup routine these days I don't need a makeup sponge so I haven't really been repurchasing any but if I were to I definitely would repurchase this and I would repurchase the Morphe sponge. I actually did get the Morphe sponge again. I got the big size, but I wish they would sell the mini ones. I think they kind of stopped on that. I don't know the whole situation on Morphe. Like, I don't know what they're up to, but like, can they just come out with the mini sponge again? Like, I would get some backups of that because the mini one is just so perfect and tiny to go underneath the eyes. Like, I need it. But let's move into the next category. We have skincare, like I said. Not that many skincare products this time around. I feel like usually skincare is the biggest category, but 
I don't know. Not that many this time. I feel like makeup is actually a lot bigger. But I do want to start off with these two products from V Green. It might sound familiar to you because I did do a sponsor with them back in March of this year. So not even that long ago. And I already finished two of the three products they sent me. So the first one is their Zika Serum and the other one is their Nature Mucin Cream. This is completely done. That's how much I love the product. This video is not sponsored by them. That video was just one part sponsor and that was it. I genuinely, obviously Obviously, I was sponsored by them, so obviously I love the product. I really, really love the product, okay guys? The serum I went through so quick. It's such a nice, like, lightweight, watery type of serum, and V-Green is also very, very affordable, cruelty-free Korean skincare brand. Would highly, highly recommend. I feel like anything with Sika, my skin loves. My skin really does love Sika, okay? Perfect, lightweight serum. And then the Mucin Cream was really lightweight as well. Nice for, like, a daytime morning type of lotion if you don't want something too heavy hence why I went through this like flying colors absolutely love the green they did send me recently their vitamin C I haven't used that yet but like overall everything that I've tried from them I absolutely love I'm still using their um, cleanser so let's go through another brand that I used of uh, Rovicton another favorite brand of mine. This one is their Skin Essentials Conditioning Cleanser. 100% would repurchase. I feel like cleansers, I'm not too fussy, but this one was enjoyable to use. Really just did the job like as a second cleanser. And then their Lotus Water Calming Toner. Also would repurchase just like a watery type of toner. Like it just does a job. It's clean. Simple packaging. Also another thing for editing duty to note. Um, Sephora and Mecca, they have this like recycling program where you can take in your empty makeup products and skincare products. Even if it's not purchased from them, they will help you recycle it. So I definitely will be taking these products there. Let's move into this one. It's from Perudo. This is their From Green Cleansing Oil. I did like this, okay, but it did have like a very, what people in the US like to say, herby scent, but here we say herby. Do we say that here? I don't actually don't know. This had like a weird scent to it and I feel like I like other cleansers that don't smell so I would probably go in with that more. So it's not something I personally would repurchase but honestly this green bottle, it gives the vibes, it suits the aesthetic so maybe I'll reuse this for something else. Then we have a repeat item. This one is the Cosar X Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. I think this is my second bottle, if not my third, and I already repurchased it. It's already in my skincare routine. This is like a skincare product that I constantly keep repurchasing, which is a video I'm going to be doing soon. Um, skincare products that I keep repurchasing. This is one of them. It just... It just does something to the skin. This is why I don't review skincare because like I feel like skincare is very niche and it's harder to recommend skincare than makeup. I feel like makeup is a bit more universal but skincare is just so personal. Like something like this might work for me but you might absolutely hate the texture and might not work for your skin. It's just so different when it comes to skincare so shout out to all the skincare reviewers because that must be hot. Uh, another product I've repurchased already is from this brand. X is Y? This is their Dark Spot Correcting Glow Serum. And if you guys are on TikTok, you probably have seen this on TikTok. It's been viral a little bit over there. Um, and I have repurchased it. I don't know if I see any difference like with my dark spots because I keep getting more dark spots because I keep popping my pimples. I repurchased it. I really like how my skin looks with it. I don't know. It's just... It's just a product that I felt like that I needed again, and I got it again. Then I have this essence from Day Mello. It's their Core Data Essence. This one I probably would not repurchase. I didn't really like feel or see much of a difference, but because it wasn't breaking me out, and I'm like, okay, girl, you just need to go through this. It, this took me a while to get through. It wasn't a product that I was like loving it, and it went by so quickly. This took me like a really long time to get through. Slowly but surely, I finished it eventually. Um, this product is another repeat. It's the Mecca Cosmetica to Save Face SPF 
50 plus super sunscreen, one of my favorite sunscreens. If you want to try a sunscreen from a non-Korean beauty brand, then maybe give this one a go. Mika Cosmetica or Mika is like a Sephora equivalent. I did a whole video on it. I'll leave it up here. But Mika Cosmetica is their skincare line and it's really really amazing guys like it's a bit more expensive than Korean sunscreens but it's so good like it blends into your skin like a moisturizer it does have a slight fragrance but it reminds me of something from my childhood so I don't really mind that it really is just an amazing sunscreen and I don't know if you want to try something different you know and try a new sunscreen I will give this one a go. This is just like a mini size that I got. Then I have a serum. This one is from the brand I-U-N-I-K. Don't know how to pronounce that. It's their Noni Light Oil Serum. This one I don't really remember being like great or bad. It was just like so-so. So when the product is so-so, probably wouldn't repurchase. I feel like there's just so many great serums out there, like the V Green one that I'm just so happy to use. So I probably wouldn't repurchase this. And then the last two items I have for skincare, the first one is this eyelash serum. So you guys may know, um, if you have been watching me in the past year, that I don't wear lashes anymore. And I actually used to wear lashes Every single time I did my makeup, I was like, it's no lash or no makeup at all. Like, you gotta give me a lash. I was your lash girl, okay? And then I got a lash lift, I would say around this time last year. And ever since then, I've been using a lash serum to help grow my lashes. And I think with lash serums, you always just gotta be careful because there is a lot of side effects. But this was the first lash serum that I used and the first lash serum I really recommended because I really saw such a difference with my lashes guys like this time last year I had like a few little tiny pieces but now my lashes are so I wouldn't say so full but you know for me it's really full and very long I never expected my lashes to ever look like this or for me to stop wearing false lashes like it's a really big deal for me you know so this was the first lash serum that I used I don't use it anymore just because I'm, I'm like trying other lash serums out and this one you can only purchase it off Amazon it's sort of like an unknown brand I bought it because of TikTok um, so you know it's, I don't know how trustworthy that is but it does a job it does work but I just kind of want to find more of like a reliable brand that I can get a little bit easier here in New Zealand instead of buying off Amazon because honestly buying on Amazon from New Zealand is like not it's not cheap it's not efficient but I feel like if I can't find a lash serum that's working for me I definitely would get this again but then finally onto the last skincare product it's just like a mini size that I got from I don't know Sephora or Mecca it's the Myriad AHA BHA Foliating Cleanser. Since it was a mini, you know, I don't know if I should really give much of a review. Like, it had the little exfoliants in it, which I really do like, but I don't like to use it every day, even if it's just cleanser. I like to use more of like a gel, like a cleanser, but it's still good for like every now and again. And it was great, but I know Myriad is pretty expensive, so I don't know. Would I repurchase? Probably not. But okay, onto the next category. Shall we hop into the shower? I do have like a lot of body wash because keep in mind, I live with a dude and that dude uses body wash as a shampoo, okay? Yeah. Partly my fault because like I won't let him use my Olaplex shampoo because that stuff is really expensive and he washes his hair every single day. So imagine that, using Olaplex every day no 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 and he ran out of shampoo and he was fine with using the body wash so that's where we're at okay so let's start off with those body washes shall we i have this one from soap and glory it's the clean on me hydrating body wash my friend actually told me about this this is her go-to body wash we were just in mecca one day and i didn't realize like how affordable soap and glory body wash is i think it's about like 13 dollars you get half a liter and it smells so good the smell actually stays in his hair for a pretty long time and it actually smells really good so i don't know i have this one as well from loxetane it's there i don't want to mispronounce this but this was a gift loxetane is not cruelty free guys but yeah this was a gift he also used this as a shampoo too but then a body wash for the ladies. Um, this one is from Aromatica. Aromatica? Sorry guys, I don't know if you can tell, but like I'm really sick right now and very nasally. It's hard for me to even speak. It's their Balancing Feminine Wash Pure and Soft. And I don't know how to feel about like feminine wash, but I feel like I just got a clean down there you know and just using something a little bit more gentle. This is very, very gentle. It's a foam cleanser as well, so. 
it does the job and I have repurchased it already I'm already going through one you probably see it at my end of year empties um, but then let's go into shampoos okay the first shampoo I used up was the ordinary conditioner I think probably in my last empties I would have shown you the shampoo honestly not my favorite it's affordable but I don't know my hair doesn't feel nourished it feels doesn't really feel clean um, however the Olaplex number no. 4 shampoo have already repurchased this is going to be my shampoo till the day I stop shampooing my hair okay guys this is my favorite it's expensive but it cleans my hair it foams up has a great smell everything that I want with good ingredients like this, there's a reason why people talk about Olaplex okay it does a job. But I also have this hair treatment from Ms. Insane. It's the company that like Blackpink is the model for their hair dye and the pictures look really fake. Um, but my friend actually got me this and it's really nice. This is a serum that you get when, um, after you box dye your hair and your hair feels literally like so smooth like you came out of the salon. This brand isn't cruelty free I don't think so I wouldn't repurchase but I mean, if my friend gifts this to me again, I wouldn't be mad either. Then we move on to some extra random things. I have a body lotion. This one is from Soul Body. Okay, guys. The thing with me is, is that I don't moisturize my body unless I have to. Unless I'm showing my legs, my arms, then I'll moisturize. But I'm not one to like moisturize every single day. So... You know, if you keep that in mind on how often I go out, and when I do go out, am I showing my skin? Not really. So this took me like forever to finish up. I think I got this, I don't know. I don't even want to say. It probably was gone bad. But like, it took me a very, very long time to get through. But I finally finished it. And now I'm moving on to my next body lotion that will probably take me a few years to finish up. Would I repurchase? Possibly. Um, but again, I do have a lot of body lotions that I want to do get through right now. So not at this moment. But then this one is more so for the home. But I really just wanted to talk about it because I love Love the scent. It's from a brand called the Aroma Therapy Company. And this is designed in New Zealand. It says made in China. I thought this was a New Zealand brand. I think it is a New Zealand brand. The scent, uh, lavender and sage. Oh, what a smell to spray around your house. It just smells not so generic. It smells very unique, but very fresh and clean at the same time. It's a home and a linen spray. So you could spray it around your house. You can spray it on your bed sheets. It just smells so good. Okay. Barry's back home. Let me open the door for him. All right. Here we have Mr. Berries. Now everyone hasn't seen you in a long time. Look how big he is. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. You're always crying, huh? Why are you always crying and crying and crying? Where were we before we were really interrupted? Honestly, I don't even know what I was talking about. But anyway, let's move on to the last category, which are all of my contact lenses in my last empties. I asked you guys if you want me to like show all of my empty contacts and one of you guys said you want to see. So the people pleaser in me, I'm like, okay. Stop asking, I'll show you. So yeah, I do go through a lot of contacts because I do do a lot of looks. And you know me, I like to be monochromatic. So I always like to match the contacts with the makeup. Um, and I do work closely with Olens and Moody lenses. And they are very generous. So they always send me like different styles and everything. So let's go through my Moody contacts first. My absolute favorite styles from Moody Lenses is Coco Gleam and Misty Roses. These two are the same styles, but just in different colors. Coco Gleam is the brown, and then Misty Roses is the sort of dusty mauve. This is such a pretty lens, guys. It has a really thin border around it. I'll try to show you photos of what I mean, but these are my favorite. It's what I personally would recommend from Moody Lenses. I also really love the Gemini Blues. These have like little sparkles in them but also just the blue color is really really pretty I also have haste heaven from moody lenses and then also this one this is their 
blushing marshmallow. This one has like little blushing marks. You know what you see in anime? It has it in the lens. Moody Lenses has very unique lenses. Um, I have one that has like cherry blossoms on it and it might sound crazy but these are very comfortable to wear. And then we'll move on to the other brands that I've tried. So this one is from Vivian Westwood. Sunny actually sent me this one. This one is very interesting because it just has like a little green in it like a little flare it's a very very subtle i'll show you the tiktok that i filmed on it and then this one from Hapa christine the one and only which is the contact lens that Wan young from i wears and Hapa christine lenses are very very comfortable so i would definitely recommend and then the remainder are all o lens um o lens i would say i probably wear them the most i'm more familiar with their styles the vivi ring has been such a hit with me so i finished up one of the choco daily and then one of the monthly beige. These two I love as well. The beige is like a really nice like yellowy brown and the choco is like a really natural brown. So any of the Vivi ring line I absolutely love and it has become one of my favorites. If you like Dou Ying type of contact lenses, I think Vivi ring is a really nice option. And then another one I really, really loved is the double tint. This one is a more newer style. Jisoo wore it and also I believe Minji and Honey from New Jeans are wearing these styles. So I finished up the double tint gray daily and then the double tint brown in a monthly These are so pretty too. It looks like you have like a little bit of a glow in your eyes But it still has that border similar to the Vivi ring Absolutely love these ones as well. Also, we have real ring which is the lens. I believe Jenny War. This one is really pretty too. Anything with like a darker border around I really love and this one is very similar to that. I also finished up Moon Knight which was the lens that Jisoo was wearing. Um, so that one I finished up too. It was a monthly Cherry Moon. This one wasn't a favorite of mine. I did not really like Cherry Moon on me. I feel like there are certain lenses that don't look good on me and this is one of them. And then I did finish up the Russian Velvet in grey and the Russian line honestly these sort of like hazy type of lenses don't look good on me. I just don't think I have that face for it. I have a very like a baby face that when I wear more of these more like sultry and sexy lenses, it looks a little odd. Those were the lenses that I finished up in the past six months. Honestly, I do have a lot here that probably is like expired that I could, you know, finish up as well. But I need to declutter my room and I probably need to recycle all of these products now. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. It's always fun to like look at all of the empty products. It makes you feel good. It makes you feel motivated. So with that being said, empties is done. Um, the other mid-year updates I have to give is my low buy and then my mid-year declutter. With that being said, thank you so much for watching guys. I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!